very, very interesting piece. Uh, edge to edge, most likely about three inches plus. We have almost this, this lizard sitting on a, a matrix of um, calcite, pretty solid calcite. Let's have a look at the matrix. Yeah, it's a pretty solid calcite going into aragonite. Perched on this, we have almost a, a, a crust of uh, a girthite. You see there's some crystallization on the top sections. I must actually have a look under magnification. Could be some malachite there as well. Very, very difficult to photograph this particular piece because the black tends to blow it out. The black and the white and even the blue. This is uh, a little bit underexposed, but... Uh, and there you have shatukite running, ac <coughs> uh, running across the sides. On the cross section you can actually see little sprays of compacted shatukite needles uh, uh, forming on top what appears to be botroids. Um, and then the crust, the white crust, would be some chrysocola sitting over the top. The, the black material I, I would expect to be girthite. Uh, girthite, I say, because the, the color over here is slightly going into a yellowishness, which would be oxidation of the girthite, whereas heterogenite uh, typically wouldn't do that, to my knowledge. From a display point of view, you'd have it lying flat on a turntable like this, so this would be your view. Uh, specimen is pretty perfect. You can get a little bit of contact on that side, where the, but one could actually trim that off. And then looking from the top down, you'd have this effect, totally overexposed as we're seeing it here. Uh, let me just see if I can reduce the exposure slightly. Ah, there we go. All the way from the Tantara mine, uh, another masterpiece. There's a largish calcite crystal sitting there as well. Perhaps we'll even find a little bit of druzy quartz here.